Hello everyone and welcome to podcast nine and three quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. Today I'm going to go over the Ron and Hermione relationship timeline, movie by movie. Now before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Ron and Hermione are one of the central couples of Harry Potter, but their budding relationship definitely had its ups and downs. Let's take a look at how their relationship grew and transformed throughout the series. The Sorcerer's Stone In the first installment of the franchise, Ron and Hermione can't stand each other until the very end, at least. The pair first meet on the train where Ron is attempting to teach Harry a spell his brothers gave him and where Hermione immediately rubs him the wrong way. For much of the first movie and book, she is characterized as a know-it-all and both Ron and Harry find her insufferable. It's not until they take down a mountain troll together that they become friends and at this point, that's all it is. The Chamber of Secrets. In the Chamber of Secrets, the two are friends from the start, but their relationship hasn't really begun to deepen into anything more, in part because they're still both extremely young at this point. However, some fans can spot the moments where the first stirrings of Ron's crush on Hermione can be seen. First up, he's extremely annoyed by her own crush on Gilderoy Lockhart, and beyond that, he gets extremely upset when she is insulted, to the point of ending up with a backfiring curse having him puke slugs, and when she was petrified. Of course, this could just be seen as a very good friend expressing concern and dismissing a silly crush, but fans of the pair like to see it as something more. The Prisoner of Azkaban In the third film, the pair fall out for the first time since becoming friends in the Sorcerer's Stone. And it's all thanks to their pets. Hermione's new cat, Crookshanks, keeps going after Ron's rat, Scabbers, and it drives a serious wedge between the two, despite the fact that Crookshanks was, of course, entirely right to hate Scabbers. However, they do manage to make up, and there are some more hints at romance to come when Hermione grabs his arm in Care of Magical Creatures class and when Ron continues to stand up for her when no one else will. The Goblet of Fire Ron and Hermione's relationship seems defined by jealousies almost from the start when Ron's reaction to Hermione's crush on Lockhart and it's not until the Goblet of Fire that this really starts to become an issue. Here, Ron finally gets around to asking Hermione out but only does it as an insulting afterthought and is turned down. He ends up incredibly jealous of Victor Crumb, who takes Hermione to the dance, despite the fact that he was a huge fan of Victor's before this. Hermione has her own moments of jealousy here too, getting upset at Ron's reaction to the Vila at the Quidditch World Cup, but it's Ron's jealousy that really makes it obvious that he's got a secret crush on his friend. The Order of the Phoenix by the Order of the Phoenix, it seems that Ron and Hermione have settled down a bit again and the two are just good friends. Ron is refusing to admit that he has any sort of feelings for Hermione beyond friendship, despite his jealousy over Crumb the year before. Jealousy that continues into this year as he gets grumpy when he learns that the two are still in touch. Beyond this though, the relationship is characterized mostly by some lighthearted teasing and friendly interaction. The Half-Blood Prince. The Half-Blood Prince marks the first movie where the characters really get involved in romantic relationships. For Ron and Hermione, this means that Hermione actually asks Ron to go to Slughorn's Christmas party with her. And for a moment, it seems that this could be the start of something. However, it all goes wrong when Jenny tells Ron that Hermione had kissed Crumb in the past, at which point Ron gets extremely jealous and upset. Ron starts going out with Lavender Brown after he becomes a star Quidditch player and spends all his time snogging her publicly and with the pair cooing pet names at each other. Hermione's furious. She attacks Ron with a flock of magical canaries and the two stop speaking. In the end though, when Ron is poisoned, it is Hermione that he asks for as soon as he wakes up and his relationship with Lavender comes to an end, leaving Ron and Hermione still not official but clearly interested. The Deathly Hollows Part 1 By the start of The Deathly Hollows, Ron and Hermione are all but together, and Harry seems to acknowledge that their relationship is an unacknowledgeable fact. 
However, the two don't actually admit their feelings to each other in part because they are too busy dealing with horcruxes and dodging Voldemort's forces to do so. However, they have some truly sweet moments, such as in Grimwald Place, where they hold hands to fall asleep. And Hermione is devastated when Ron storms out on them. He returns by the end of the movie and admits his feelings to Harry, who reassures Ron that she feels the same, but not to Hermione herself. The Deathly Hollows Part 2 For much of the final film, Ron and Hermione are too busy trying to save the wizarding world to really be concerned about romantic moments. Until the Battle of Hogwarts, of course. It is this final showdown that the two finally admit their feelings, something fans have been expecting for several movies. They finally kiss in the Chamber of Secrets, immediately after destroying a horcrux. In the final scenes, it was revealed that they married later on and are still together when their children are headed to Hogwarts. Me, personally, I'm a fan of the Ron and Hermione relationship. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.